It's over, y'all. It's over. These crybaby bitches have gone completely insane. Everything is harmful. Everything is hurtful. Until, until they start trying to ban every single thing. They'll, we'll no longer have bats as weapons. We're going to have combat dildos as weapons. Combat pocket pussies as weapons. Can't ban those because everyone has a dick or a pussy, you know what I'm saying? So they can't ban those. They're going to have giant rainbow colored, glitter covered fucking dragon dicks. Just all over the fucking streets with spikes and ridges and shit. Because I mean like, imagine you got a motherfucker like Debo. A motherfucker that looked like Debo. Coming after you with a glittery, glittered up, rainbow colored dragon dick that skeets. Your corpse, your corpse is going to be bloody and beaten in with streaks of rainbow colored glitter and skeet. That's how you're going to die. Beaten to death by a dragon dick. Th- that that that's how you're gonna die. This motherfucker's gonna run directly at you with the mean, with the the meanest looking face. He's gonna be looking you down your fucking eye while rushing you with this fucking giant dragon dick that he stole from his girlfriend's bedroom, and he's gonna beat the shit out of you. He's gonna be looking you dead in the eye. He's like, I'm about to beat and skeet you, bitch. And he's like, Oh no! You know what I'm saying? He, he, he's like, I'm gonna beat and then skeet you. You feel me? Beat and skeet. This is gonna be a a beaten skeet. Then you have to make you have a choice to make here. Either die by be by being beaten to death by a dragon dildo, and then for him to skeet on you afterwards, because you know they got some of those with the pump and they shoot out that fake ass that lubricant that look like like jizz. Cause guarantee he's gonna do that. Just to add insult to end it, yeah. Or, you can kill yourself before he even reaches you. Because me, I'm going to kill myself before, before, before he gets to me, anywhere near me. If I see a big motherfucker run down the street with a giant, multicolored, glittered up dragon dildo coming straight for me with the intent to kill me with it, I'm, I'm offing myself. I'm offing myself. I have to die by my own hands before that happens, Okay. I will. I would rather die to a combat pocket pussy. You know what I'm saying? Because I mean, like, think about it. Like, what's the worst that could happen? Like, it like seal. Like, they just sh- like it's like a giant pocket pussy that they just shove onto your head, and it like seals. It's like an airtight seal, so you like suffocate in in pussy. Like, I would rather die like that because that would be one hell of a story. When I when I die and go to heaven or some shit like that, because I imagine if you. If, if you die by getting beat by a combat dildo, you're going to go to hell and everyone's going to just laugh at you for all eternity. Even the demons are going to laugh at you for all eternity. Like, would you rather they laugh at you for all etern- eternity in hell because you just got beaten to death by a fucking dragon dick? Like, come on. I'd rather off myself. But anyway... That aside, aside from all these sensitive ass people, I'm talking about the Joker movie and the bullshit that's going on. First trailer of the Joker movie comes out. I didn't really want to watch it, but there was a bunch of people who wanted to watch it. And um, the second trailer came out. And I, I began to realize this is a story about how Joker became the Joker, basically. And based off the trailer... The Joker has a bunch of shit going on in his life, and then he eventually, you know, it's like a downward spiral. Like, look at the description here. Forever alone in a crowd, failed comedian Arthur Fleck seeks connection as he walks the streets of Gotham City. Arthur wears two masks, the one he paints for his day job as a clown, and the guys he projects in a futile attempt to feel like he's part of the world around him. Isolated, bullied, and disregarded by society, Fleck begins a slow descent into madness, as he transforms into the criminal mass mind known as the Joker. 
Seems pretty fucking accurate. Shit is happening to him. Life is kicking this man in the ass so fucking much that he eventually fucking snaps and become a psychopathic killer. That's basically that's basically what the movie's about. And you can make the connection to mental illness. Because people with a mental illness, they can be people who don't have a mental illness, and they can end up just like the Joker. Like, take this for instance. When when they have a school shooting, they always they always try to say Something about guns, 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 guns. You just missed the point. You're talking about guns, but the guns are not the problem. You missed the point here. You have the other people who are talking about bullying, bullying, bullying. Let's stop the bullying. Perfect. That's part of the point right there. That person, that child that shot up this school or whatever and whatnot, or whether it was a child or or uh, it's, it's mostly a fucking child that tends to do these things. He gets, they get tired of bullying, getting bullied or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? They, they get bullied and bullied and bullied. And you, you develop a complex once you keep getting bullied. You keep getting bullied, you start feeling like shit. You start looking down on yourself. It's like a, a, it's like a slow spiral. You start to feel in you. You start to feel a certain way. And in your mind, you start to even think of yourself in this crappy way and it's all because someone else makes you feel this way makes you think this way about yourself that could be a development of a mental illness which pretty much is and they do it so much the teachers don't pay attention you can also blame the teachers the teachers do not pay attention the teachers have favorites they will pick the favorites over you for instance when i was in when i was in school there was this one kid who was Big tall fucker, but he was heavy set. He was the bully of the school. Now he tried me, and he quickly saw that I was not no damn bitch. Every school I've been to, I fought until I got pulled out of school. When I got pulled out of school to be homeschooled, best believe I fought like a motherfucker. I ain't give a fuck, okay? I'm gonna fight the fuck out of you. You come at me with that, I don't play that bullying shit. Now, the teachers, however, they had their favorites, and he was the favorite. Whenever someone would tell them that he's bullying them, he's doing this, he's doing that, he would pull this same card every time. As soon as they confront him, he starts crying like a little bitch and starts saying, they're bullying me, they're lying on me because they just want me to get in trouble. And he's, he's full-on bawling, full-on tears, crocodile tears at that. And they believe him completely. And then they stopped believing him because I set his ass up. I set his ass up. And they, they actually caught him in the act of doing it. And they didn't believe his little crocodile tears anymore. Because they finally got, they finally realized it. And not only that, but all the other kids in the class was like, yeah, he does this shit all the time. All he does is cry whenever he gets told on. He gets told on, he cries like a little bitch. And, that, and, that's, and that's basically what, and they found out real quick that, you know, yeah, the, the fucking crying kid was actually the big ass crying kid was actually the fucking bully of the school and they found out that found that shit out real quick and they stopped believing his ass the teachers pick favorites and with the favorite that they pick they will believe the favorite every time all the time so what happens when a kid comes who's being bullied by the their so called chosen favorites they're not going to believe the kid. They're going to believe the favorite. All the favorite has to do is say, I didn't do it. He's lying. That's all he has to say. And they believe the favorite immediately. Well, the kid that just got bullied, you think, well, how does that help the kid that just got bullied? It doesn't. So now the kid is going to continue to get bullied until he eventually has enough. He's already feeling shitty about himself and the bully is making it worse and the bully is making him feel some type of way, making him think some type of way. He eventually snaps, boom. Now we got a school shooting situation. And then the teachers try to sit there and act like they didn't have any signs 
of anything happening whatsoever, which is a damn lie. Because I, even if it isn't a lie, you still should be fired. You should not be a teacher anymore. Are you telling me that a child can be bullied so much to the point where they snap that you're telling me that all you teachers, none of you noticed? None of you noticed this. You telling me he never once told you about a bully in the school. Not once. He never once tried to seek, seek help from you. So you're doing a terrible job by, paying, by not paying attention to your students. You shouldn't be a teacher. And if they're coming to you and letting you know all this stuff and you don't believe them and you're not thoroughly investigating because the favorites, the one that you like better, all he had to do was deny it and that's all, it, and that's all she wrote. You just failed as a teacher. You should investigate it. Investigate that shit thoroughly. Now some schools have cameras. I believe all schools should start having cameras. So whenever a fucking student comes to you and say they've been bullied, you can review the fucking cameras and catch the shit and act. And I'm talking about cameras, cameras, cameras with sound. So you can actually hear what, the, what these fuckers are saying. So you can prove without a benefit of a doubt that this person is actually a bully and the fact that they sat there and said, hey, this kid is a bully, you can believe it. Why you can believe it? Because you caught it on fucking camera. You can literally take steps to prevent this shit. But they don't really take these steps. They don't really take these steps and they fail. And like there was one kid uh, when I when I was in school before I got pulled out. Uh, he used to get bullied a lot, so I stopped it from happening. And then every day after that, I would roast him on a daily basis. And then he literally stopped and he he stopped me one day and he looked at me like, "Why are you doing that? You how? Why would you stop someone from bullying me just so you could bully?" I'm like, I'm not bullying you. I am training you. Because until you learn to roast me back and crack jokes at me back, crack jokes back at me, you will continue to be an easy target for bullies. Most bullies will just do nothing but make fun of you. Most bullies won't touch you. Some of them will touch you. But right now, we're going to do it one step at a time. I'm going to teach you how to make fun of somebody. So the next time a bully of any kind comes after you by calling you names, you can call them something even worse, make fun of them even worse, and make them feel shitty about themselves, just to show them how, they, how it feels to be made fun of. And we continue to do that every single day at school. And he got pretty damn good at it. I ain't gonna lie. He got pretty good. He got pretty good. Good at it. Uh, his timing wasn't all that good yet. Uh, b before you know everything ended, he, his timing wasn't all that good. He wasn't as quick on the draw. He wasn't as quick on the draw as I wanted him to be. But he got pretty good at at, at uh, the whole roasting and janking thing. He got pretty good at it, but he wasn't. It wasn't coming to him as quick. Cause it was like one time in, in line, he he uh, I cracked a joke at him, and then he cracked one back at me. But it took him took him a minute, and it was something about uh, it was something about my personality, some shit like that. And I was like, dude, 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 look, look at my shoe, like look at my shoe. And he looked down, like, look, you see that? You missed it. There's literally a whole slit on the side of my shoe. You could have made. You could have literally went straight for the soft spot. You could have made a poor joke or something. If you were dealing with a bully, someone just comes at, after you out of nowhere and they start making fun of you, pay attention to what they're wearing. Pay attention to anything. Try to pick something that would really, really fuck with them. Like, you can make a poor joke about... At the time, you can make a poor joke about me. I wouldn't give a fuck. But anyone else, you could just 
pick that shit out. Screw you, Snapchat. You can just pick that shit out and throw that shit in their fucking face. Make them feel shitty as fuck. Make it so that they'll never make fun of you again. I'm talking about go straight for their fucking feelings. Straight for the feelings. Fuck they feelings. But he wasn't quick on the draw, but he got the he got the gist of what I was saying. I'm pretty sure uh, he ain't gonna have no more fucking problems. I think his name was Josh. I think his name was Josh. Can't exactly remember his name. But anyway, like they have uh, these uh, these people um, who are going around giving kids who are de- are depressed or bullied or some something like that, where they just buy them clothes or some shit like that. I was I was told about this. I'm not exactly sure, but it, it was. Uh, Told that they would, that this is what they do, and it's like um, that just seems like petty to me. You're, you're just saying, oh, you've been bullied, so here's some clothes, shoes, and, and blah blah blah. That that's petty. That's not really helping the situation. That's petty. In fact, you're kind of making them even more of a target now. You think someone's not gonna make a, a bully is a bully. You literally just painted a bigger target on that kid's back by giving him. Shoes and clothes and all this other stuff like that that looks nice. You're making them an even bigger target. Yes, you might feel good about yourself for doing this for them, but you just made a, you just painted a bigger target on that kid's back by doing that. What they needed to do, if you really want to help them, teach these motherfuckers how to defend themselves against a bully. If you got a bully who's physical. Teach that kid who's being bullied how to fight. Teach him how to throw hands. So the next time that bully puts his hands on him, he knows how to defend himself. So he can kick that bully's ass and teach that bully a lesson to never do it again. If he has a bully that likes to just make fun of him with words, bully him through words, do like I did. Teach that kid how to fucking roast. Teach him how to flame that motherfucker. I guarantee you that bully will not do it again. Make that bully feel like shit then. Shit on him. Verbally or physically. Teach these kids how to defend themselves. Don't pity them. Teach them. If you want to get rid of a fucking bully, teach the people that they are bullying how to defend themselves quickest way to stop that shit you can tell a bully all day every day don't bully don't be a bully it's not cool and blah 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 a bully is going through shit in their life anyway they are going through shit probably at home which is why they are bullies some bullies are just bullies because they're assholes some bullies are bullies because they're going through shit and they're taking out their anger and frustration on someone else So you sitting there telling a bull, people not to be a bully, that's not exactly helping. You want to stop a bully? Take away a bully's target. A bully is only a bully when he has someone to target. Teach his target how to defend themselves. That bully no longer has a target. That bully will try to find another target. If he finds another target, you go straight for his target again. Teach them how to defend themselves against that bully. Whether it's verbal or physical. Guarantee you that bully will run out of fucking targets. He will have no one else to take out his anger frustration on. Or if he's just an asshole, he has no more fucking targets, period. Either way, there's no more targets for bullying at that point in time. Take away the bully's targets. Also, if there is a bully who has problems at home and they're just taking out their anger frustration on somebody else... At that point in time, you should try probably talk to that bully, try to figure out what's going on at home, and try to fix that. But at the same time, take away the bully's targets. Teach the targets how to defend themselves against a bully. Do not just outright pity them and just buy them shit. No, you're just painting a bigger target. Teach them how to defend themselves. There's shit tons of videos where a fucking kid is being bullied and he gets tired of being bullied and he starts throwing hands against his bully 
lays his bully out flat. And some of them actually respond to the fucking video about the fact that the bully never messed with them again. All because they just, they defended themselves. They struck back. The bully no longer had a target. What is he going to do? Target that same kid again just to get laid the fuck out again? No. No target, no power. Anyway. Let's go to the news. We're going back to Joker now. God damn, when I get to ranting, I just go. I just go and go. Anyway. Let's see here. The second trailer came out. And that's when these crybaby bitch ass people started complaining. And let me show you something here. Where is it? Uh, this is the first thing they, they try to do. Where did it go? It was just up here. Where the fuck did it go? Did I pass by it? There it is. From the New York Post here. NYPD covering Joker screens over fears of incel violence. That was their first, that was the, this is something that was posted two hours ago. But that is literally one of the very first slanders they did for the movie. They said the movie was for incels. And that incel, and the reason it's a slur is because the people, the fake ass journalists who were writing about the, the movie was for incels, were saying that incels are basically people who are sexist and misogynist, basically fucking trigger words. That's basically all it was. It was fucking trigger words. And when it didn't work because no one gives a shit, people were starting to wisen up some. Your fucking trigger words. Like, an incel is just a uh, just a man who doesn't want... Uh, it, basically straight dudes who don't want to date women or have anything to do with women and shit like that. But that's basically what it is. They don't have any dependency on trying to find a woman. They are, they're better off alone. That's basically what they came to the conclusion. They're better off alone. They're better off being single for all eternity. Basically. And apparently that makes them sexist and misogynist. Which is downright stupid. And that was the first slur they tried to do. And this is a movie about a fictional character in a fictional world. With a fictional story. Fictional background story, actually. So, with that being said. It's like, uh... How does that have anything to do with real life incels. It doesn't. It has nothing to do with real life incels. And they try to say it, it uh, spawned violence within uh, incels. That's pretty much insulting and full of shit of a statement to make. It has nothing to do... The movie is a movie about Joker. And in that movie, by the trailer alone, he had so much shit going on in his life. I'm pretty sure a woman was the farthest from his fucking mind and i'm guessing because of that that makes him an incel and that means all incels are going to commit acts of violence or some shit like that that's fucking stupid it's very fucking stupid and i'm not i'm not going to click on these articles because the the other videos i did i clicked on those articles and shit and all i'm doing by clicking on these articles is just giving them money that's all i'm doing and that's what they want they want the clicks the moment you click on the site and you see the ads and shit you just gave them money. You just made them money. And that's all that is. And I don't want to give these people no money while I'm talking about this shit. You can tell basically by the titles that they titled their article about it. You can already tell it's going to be some bullshit. Okay. But the second thing they did was they try to blame people with mental illnesses. And I think there's a title on here. Uh. Might be one, let's see. Because there was a, 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 a interviewer that wanted to talk to the guy who plays the Joker. His name is Phoenix. And it was a loaded question about the movie uh, might inspire violence or spur on violence or prompt violence of some kind of some shit like that. And Phoenix walked out. You know why he walked out? Because it's bullshit. A movie is not going to inspire someone to commit violence. Or prompt someone to go out and commit violence. A video game is not going to do this, do that either. If that's the case, everyone who plays video games would have been committed a slew of murders by now. There would be bodies in the fucking street by the thousands by now. 
Because there's a shit ton of violent as hell games. So if it would prompt someone to commit violence, there would be bodies all over the streets. There would be rivers of blood every goddamn where. This movie is not going to prompt someone to commit acts of violence. But there are a few articles that did in fact try to say that people with mental illnesses would be prompted to commit acts of violence. Which was also bullshit. These fake ass journalists actually said some said shit like that. Where they said a person who has who suffers from mental illness would after seeing this movie would be prompted to commit acts of violence. They would commit acts of violence. That is bullshit to the highest fucking degree and is a huge fucking insult to anyone with, with a mental illness. Because not every person suffers from the same kind of mental illness. There are different kinds of mental illnesses out there. And you basically just said a person with mental illness would, would be prompted to commit an act of violence because of a fucking movie that you don't like. These people saw the second trailer that shows more in-depth about what the movie is going to be about. They didn't like it. And they tried to smear it by saying it's a movie about incels and it's sexist, misogynist people and blah, blah, blah. When that didn't work and they saw that people still wanted to go see the movie. They moved on. And the next thing they said was people with mental illness will be prompted to commit acts of violence. Very insulting and, and full of shit. So these fake journalists and even the media themselves kept pushing this narrative of violence, violence, prompting violence, 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 violence. Why? Because they don't like the movie. They don't like the movie. These people are bored and they don't like the movie. You know why I say they're bored? They're bored because they have nothing to write about. When you have a journalist or, or fake journalist in this case who has nothing to write about, they start making up shit. And when they make up shit, they want to make up the most exciting thing possible. And whether you want to believe it or not, the most fucked up shit is exciting to a human brain. Because it, it spurs you to immediately click on that. To click on that. To watch that. It draws you in immediately. And then once your brain draws you straight to it and you go to it, they start trying to pluck at your emotions and your they try to start putting the trigger words in, in throughout the entire article. Trigger word, trigger word, trigger word. And that's playing with your fucking emotions. And there's your anger flaring up. And now you're triggered. And now you believe everything in the article. Why? Because they put trigger words everywhere. To make you angry. There was a video where I showed this. Guy was race baiting throughout the entire fucking article. And he was obviously full of fucking shit. Trigger words throughout the whole damn thing. The next article after that, he toned down on the trigger trigger words and shit. Because he actually watched the show. He actually saw what the fuck was going on. Either way, you're still fucking wrong. You, like, these people are bored and they'll write anything. The media wants something bad to happen because of this movie. Because they're bored. The fake journalists want something to happen because of this movie, because they're bored. Why? Because if they keep talking about something bad is going to happen because of this movie, and they keep putting that idea out there, they keep pushing it out there, this movie's going to inspire violence. Violence, Joker. Joker, violence. Violence, Joker, Joker, violence. They keep doing it over and over and over again, and eventually, somebody is going to pick up on that, and then they're going to do something. They're going to pick up on it and then they're going to do something. And why do they do that? They do that shit because the fake journalists and the media want to be right about something. They want to get their viewers back. They're losing viewers because people are calling people, these journal, these uh, mainstream media people and the, and the journalists and then the fake journalists. People are calling them out on their bullshit. And because they're calling them out on their bullshit, they're starting to lose revenue. They're starting to lose money. And when they lose money, they need, they need to be right about something. They need to be right about something so desperately. So they keep pushing it out there. Pushing it out there. This is racist when it's not really racist, but we're going to call it racist. Racist, 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 racist. It's not. 
And then people, and then smart people will actually call these fuckers out for these race bait and shit they're doing. And then they start, they lose even more followers who actually realize that these people are actually race baiting the fuck out of me. What they said was racist isn't really racist. And then they just leave these people alone. They lose money that way. But then they get a bunch of so-called racist ass people who believe they're not racist and believe they're actually fighting against racism, but they're actually just racist. Who love to call everyone else a racist. They join in. And the paper is still making money. But they're making less money than what they made before. But because they got new viewers and new people clicking and shit. They're like, oh. People are coming onto our side. No, they're not coming onto your side. That small minority of those racist bastards who claim to be something that they're not. They're coming in and they're looking at your article and they believe their fight that you believe in what they believe in and fighting a good fight against racism. Unfortunately, they are racist themselves. Because they don't realize that they're saying a bunch of racist fucking shit on a daily goddamn basis while also trying to call someone else a racist. Like, for instance, the, the incident where that guy raised a bunch of money for beer and then a, a, a journal uh, from the Des Moines Register... Aaron Clive, Clyde or whatever, I think, it's, I think the, uh, uh, wrote an article about the guy raising money for charity for sick kids and then decided to go on his tweets from eight years ago and file an offensive tweet. It was a reply to Tosh.0 and apparently it was a joke and it was offensive. Whatever. It's, it's just your emotions, bitch. Get over it. It's not going to kill you. Anyway, because of that, uh, Anheuser... Bush, which is a beer company or something, pulled away from this guy, which is probably going to stop the flow of money going to these sick kids because this guy decided to dig up eight-year-old tweets and put it in an article about this guy raising money for charity. What, what does him making an offensive joke eight years ago have to do with him raising money for sick children? It has nothing to do with it. Nothing. He just wanted to try to cancel this guy. Because you know why? There's so many people on this cancel culture bandwagon. They want to be angry about every fucking little thing because they have nothing better to do. They have nothing better to do. So they, so he wanted to do it so he can find people who are a part of this cancel culture bullshit so they can jump on his bandwagon and get a whole bunch of clicks and likes so he can rake in the dough. It backfired though. He got the cancel culture he wanted. But it was the people who were against cancel culture that came after his ass. And you know what they did? Found a shit ton of racist and offensive tweets that he made. Got him fired. Then he became the so-called victim because he did an article. Uh, uh, there was an article on him in BuzzFeed, who he used to work for, by the way. He said that he felt like he was abandoned by the Des Moines Register because he did a... Uh, uh, a routine background check which is a lie because the morning register said the same thing it was a routine background check to go through someone else's tweets which is a lie because if that was a so called routine check then why didn't you routinely check the guy who wrote that article before you hired him you would have thought he did those off offensive fucking uh, tweets and comments you would have saw that if it was so called routine no, it was not routine. It's all a bunch of bullshit. He tried to do the cancel culture thing on this guy for doing something good. And he got canceled himself. You got what you fucking deserve. You try to cancel someone, you get canceled. That's all on you. That is all on you. So, with that being said, that's what they're trying to do with the Joker movie. They want people to be angry at the Joker movie. They don't want people to go watch the Joker movie because they don't like the Joker movie. But here's something. Uh, uh, but after that, because they kept pushing this narrative that something bad was going to happen at the movie and blah, 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 blah. Authorities on, uh, I think it was the FBI working with the Texas Department of Public Safety. Caught wind on the dark web of someone talking about an attack on a movie theater. On October 4th. Now, the coincidence here is that the Joker movie comes out on October 4th. Now, apparently, the media and these fake journalists 
put the two and two together because all they want to talk about is violence and Joker. Okay? That's the narrative here. The Joker is going to prompt violence. They want it to prompt violence, which is not true. Now, because of the dates, or because the Joker movie comes out on the 4th, and there's someone on the dark web said something from an extremist group, by the way, an extremist group who is probably part of the people who believe in this bullshit narrative that something bad is going to happen during the Joker movie. They probably heard these fake ass journalists and the media constantly pushing out this narrative, Joker and violence, Joker and violence, Joker and violence. And this extremist, extremist group said, and eh, it's attack a movie theater. Here's the thing, though. They don't know where the attack is going to happen. We don't know what movie theater they're going to attack. No idea. None whatsoever. They don't even have a specific time. If you picked up a conversation by an extremist group, and they say they're going to attack a movie theater, do you think you might want to wait before making it public that they're going to attack someone? You think you might want to get the information of which movie theater they're going to attack and then around what time? They might not say what time, but at least wait until they say which theater and then keep that information to yourself and then set up a sting operation around that movie theater, you know what I'm saying? Like be on the lookout for these motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? Nah, they just say, oh, we got word that someone is going to attack a movie theater on October 4th. Said so by an extremist group on the dark web. Therefore, this is credible. Not enough information. October 4th in a movie theater, some random movie theater somewhere in the United States is going to be attacked on October 4th. That is not credible. If anything, that just sounds like you're just trying to get people scared. And you succeeded. Now people are scared. But here's another thing. The LAPD even said there is no credible threat. The LAPD. Where was it? LAPD. Joker, I think. Spur security precautions from U.S. Army and LAPD. CNN is the most fake fucking. Oh my god, I. No. <laughs> LAPD. Yeah, they, they did say they were going to increase. But they also say there's no credible threats. See? Opening. LAPD says no credible threats. They said no credible threats. It means it's not credible. But any kind of threat, law enforcement is going to take it seriously regardless. But they did say it's not a credible threat. It is not a credible threat. But it's a threat nonetheless. It's a threat nonetheless. And law enforcement is going to take a threat seriously. There was a threat made, so they're going to take it seriously, and they're going to beef up security. But it's not credible. But the media and everyone, everyone, the media and everyone is just saying, Joker, Joker, Joker. Joker, Joker, Joker. It's like, Jesus Christ. The Joker movie is not at fault for this shit. The people to blame for this shit is these fake-ass journalists who keep pushing this narrative, these fake-ass narratives, and the media who... Go along with this shit. CNN is the worst with this shit. Remember when this woman went in a... Uh, I think she accused uh, Trump of sexual assault or something like that. And then it turns out she was only doing that. She only said it to sell a book that she wrote. Because when she went on uh, their... Uh, I think it was... Uh, God damn it, What's that man's name? The guy with the white hair. But uh, he went on, she went on his show and she said rape was a fantasy. That's all rape is. is. Rape is a fantasy. That's what she said. They brought her on the show all because she said that, I believe, yeah, it was Trump that raped her. But it turns out that it was all a lie and it's just a fantasy for her. The rape, the rape itself is a fantasy. Rape is fantasy. That's what she said, and they had to hurry up and cut and went to commercial. They got her ass off that show quick. They didn't do no research. They did no research. This woman just said something, accused the man of something with no proof, no evidence, no nothing. And they said, 
This is credible. We're going to bring her on the show and tell her story. Turns out, she's lying her damn ass off. She lied. <laughs> and they got caught on their own show pushing this shit without any proof. They did no investigating whatsoever. A real journalist is going to investigate shit. They are obviously fake journalists because they didn't investigate a goddamn thing. And that's the point here. They're fucking fake ass journalists and the media pushing these fake ass narratives and shit. They're trying to scare people into not watching the fucking Joker movie because they don't like the Joker movie and they're a bunch of crybaby bitches. Crybaby bitches. So, now, don't also, don't get this shit twisted because you see all this shit with the beefed up security and Joker this, Joker that, violence this, violence that. What you don't see here, I think they, I think it might show, hold on. Because there's one little piece of information that they are upset about. Because they whined about it already. And they're not going to keep pushing the fact that they're whining about it because it would make them look bad. Yeah. Yeah, see, I don't think they're going to do it again. Because it was all over yesterday. All over this fucking thing yesterday. Yesterday, there was, there was shit to the articles about the fact that the, I believe it was the director of the Joker movie, banned all media from the red carpet, from the premiere. So there will be no interviews whatsoever. Now, photographers can come and take pictures, but media and journalists who wants to uh, do interviews, nah, you can't come. No one can come and do interviews. You know why? Because they slandered this movie before it even before it even released, before the premiere. All because these fake journalists and the media who don't do their fucking job have just slandered and smeared this movie to hell and back. Because they they're bored. They don't like the movie and they're bored. They have no life. They have nothing to talk about. So they make up shit. So they can have something to talk about. So they can make some goddamn money. That's basically all it is. That's basically all that shit is. And my homeboy. My little bro. He's not really my little brother. But I consider my little brother. He's a good friend of mine. That motherfucker deals with mental issues. Alright. He deals with mental issues. And I talk to him about this shit. And he finds that to be complete and total bullshit. And downright fucking insulting. For them to, to even suggest that people with mental illness. Would be prone or prompted to commit acts of violence because of a fucking movie. That was insulting to him. They tried the incel shit. Didn't work. They tried mental illness shit. Didn't work. Then they tried another thing. Start saying, instead of saying mental illness, they said it was just going to be caused, it will, will prompt mass shootings. Prompt mass shootings. They're just trying, they're just picking shit out of the air and just that people care about trigger words and shit. And they're just thro throwing it at, at the Joker movie. They're just throwing it at it. Mass shootings now. They just picked it out the air. Mass shootings. Uh, pow. This movie will prompt mass shooting. Boom. This will get people not to go watch that movie. This will get people to click on our shit. We need that money. Mm -mm. People are assholes. That's what they are. They're fucking assholes. They don't give a fuck about the people that they're reporting for. They only care about themselves in their fucking pockets. So then... Like one movie theater actually said that they were not going to play the Joker movie at the theater because someone said something about respect for gun violence and stuff like that in real life. It's real life. You need to separate reality from not from fiction. Reality, fiction, reality, fiction. I need you to separate these things for me. All right, separate these two, please. Please do. 
Fiction has nothing to do with reality. Reality? Bad to say. Fiction, non-fiction. Fiction, non-fiction. They're all different. And they have nothing to do with each other. So, that being said, the movie theater was not going to play the movie, which is also like mass shootings, gun violence, they're talking about guns and shit, and, like, come on, man, that's why I was talking about combat dildos and combat pocket pussies, come on now, just, just suffocate me in a giant battle pussy, just do that, or better yet, put some teeth in there so it can crunch, crunch a motherfucker's head like it's chewing on them. Or make it like a crusher, like a car crusher or some shit. Or the pussy lips would like have like blades on it so you can like snap a guy's head off like a goddamn guillotine. You know what I'm saying? Hell, if I'm not, if I remember correctly, there was a guy on Twitter, a friend of, uh, he, apparently he's someone that, uh, that, uh, my little brother knows. My little brother knows and he said... <laughs> And he said he, he basically posted a picture that he got a uh, shotgun or some shit like that. I would say, bro, I, I was like, bro, you need to modify that shit to shoot dildos. You feel me? Just ha- just modify it to shoot dildos. Because no, because it's one thing, like there's, they got people who are not afraid to get shot. They got people who are, who are not afraid to get shot. But are you really not afraid of being shot with a dildo? Death by dildo. Are you really not afraid of that? I would be afraid of that. They do got a shotgun that shoots out dildos. With enough force to pierce right through you. They come to examine your body and you got a dildo sticking out of you. Like literally. All it is is the balls. This dildo is balls deep in you right now. Okay. And now you're dead. I would be afraid of that. I really would. You got a fucking dildo launcher, bro. That's gonna kill me in one shot. I'm done. You can have my money. You can have out. You can have it all. I don't care. Keep everything. Change in my fucking shoe. Get it. I don't. Don't hit me with that fucking shit. Anyway. Anyway, that's just all what I wanted to talk about. Just get my thoughts out there. It's actually pretty therapeutic. Matter of fact, I encourage anyone who watches this to just talk about shit. Like if you if you hear something that that hear about some shit that you know is probably bullshit, even if you're wrong about what you're talking about, just uh rant about it. It's better than keeping it bottled up. If you keep it bottled up, it's just gonna continue to fester in the back of your mind. It's just gonna kick. It's just gonna stay there and it's gonna fuck with you. So why not just record yourself speaking your mind? Research what what you're talking about, or don't research what you're talking about. Just say it. Just say what you want to say. Get it off your chest. I guarantee you it'll make you feel better. Just making these videos where I'm ranting, these BS videos where I get to rant about shit, making me feel better. I guarantee you it's making me feel better. Oh, and also, to, uh, to, uh, my my buddy Javaris, bruh, like, real talk, bruh, like I responded to you in the comments on that, on that Teen Titans and BS video. Watch the video first, bro. Watch the video first. Matter of fact, that's all y'all. Watch the video first. Before you just assume what I'm talking about. Just watch the video first. Watch this video. It's not going to kill you to watch the video. And if it is going to kill you to watch the video, then don't watch the video. And also, don't comment if you didn't watch the video. Okay, I hope y'all have a good day. Bitches. I'm out.